Good afternoon, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here on the 3rd of November, 2016. Uh, we are doing break number seven. Break number seven, Star Wars Masterwork. Uh, first of all, well, big thanks to these folks right here for getting into break number seven right here. Curtis and Three Jasons. So thanks for getting in. Now we're going to figure out which box we're going to do by rolling this dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, we'll be doing the left side right here. This will be for uh, the last break of the box or of the case, which uh, Michael has already filled up. So we're going to do that right after this Zags fan. We're going to open this up first and number the boxes because it's a random box break or a random mini box break. All right, so you can see them numbered one, two, three, and four right there. Right on Kylo Ren's weird lightsaber because he doesn't know how to build lightsabers. What a noob, Kylo Ren. You don't, do you even know how to lightsaber build, bro? He doesn't. Curtis and Jason, there you are. We're going to roll the dice to see which boxes you get. We're going to roll it three and a five, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight we got jason curtis jason and jason there we go so let me print this out really quick and let's get ready so we we blew through this it's an eight box case we blew through it so we do have one more case. I'm gonna be posting. Uh, I'm gonna be posting another one box break shortly after I do the last box right here. This is the second to last box, and then we'll go from there. All right. So Jason, we'll do uh, we'll do your boxes first. One, three, and four. Here is box one. Good luck. A lot of great stuff popping out of here. So let's see what we got. We've got Natalie Portman. It's Padme. Remember her, uh, her one of her uh, like handmaidens or something like that in, in Phantom Menace was played by Kira Knightley. Trivia, right there. Star Wars trivia for you guys. Played by Kira Knightley when they were in makeup. They said their parents couldn't tell them apart. Great rivalries: Anakin Skywalker and Count Dooku. Dooku had a cool lightsaber. Nice. We're gonna sleeve all these up because I know there's a lot of. Uh, uh, parallels and variations and short prints and stuff. So there's Lando. They already cast young Lando in the this Han Solo standalone movie. I forget who he is, but already cast. There's FN 2187. Nice. And an on card autograph. Chewbacca. Which Chewbacca? It's John Copinger as Oh, as a Wookiee senator. There you go. Sorry, not Chewbacca. Why, why, like some Wookiees are watching right now and they're like, what, you think we all look alike? They, they probably think I'm like Wookiee racist or something like that. I'm not Wookiee racist, folks. There's no one who has greater respect for Wookiees than I do. All right. Donald Glover, that's right, Eric. There you go. There's no one that has more respect for Wookiees than I do. Jason, on to uh, pack three. There's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, that's good casting right there. Uh, and Tarful, Alien Identification Guide. There you go. Nice. Right. Some of my best friends are Wookiees. Ron. Ronbo, exactly. There's Padme again. And there's Finn, who somehow has lightsaber skills. Interesting. Uh, yeah, twelve dollars twelve. This is basically museum collection for Star Wars. Yeah, and we've got eighty-two out of ninety-nine commemorative medallion from the Battle of Endor, Nien Num. Nice one, Jason, and one more pack four.
Good luck. Yoda, he is. And we've got, oh, traitor. All right, remember that? That's that's a perfect impression of FN2199. So that's great rivalries. That is not numbered right there. There we go. Yoda's not numbered. We'll sleeve them up anyway. These are nice cards. Worth it. Some of them are short printed. There's Boba Fett. And there's Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. That was terrible casting. Why? Why? And another autograph. Nice wedge. David Ancrum, voice of Wedge Antilles. Very nice. Nice on-card autograph for Wedge. More Star Wars trivia? One of these random, like, uh, one of these random, not Wedge, but one, one of these random pilots uh, was, uh, what, was um, Ewan McGregor's uncle back in the day. I'm pretty sure. I forget which one. All right, Curtis, you have pack two. Good luck, Curtis. Maybe it was Biggs. Maybe Biggs was you McGregor's. Oh, a frame. Nice one, Curtis. Let's see what we have coming up here. First of all, we have Shock T. That's 47 out of 50. Nice, nice. We've got Show of Force. Use the Force, Luke. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? You're turning off your computer? If you think about it, he's sort of been... Sort of arrogant, right? Even in A New Hope. You know? He's kind of arrogant. He's just like, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to use the Force. Uh, I used to shoot Womp Rats in my T-16 back home. They're no bigger than two meters. I can shoot a missile in there. I'm going to put a torpedo in there. Turns off the computer. Who does he think he is? No wonder that Jedi Academy failed. There's BB-8. Shots fired at the Skywalker family. BB-8. There's Luke again. And the frame autograph is Paul Blake as Greedo. Nice. Look at this, Curtis. 10 out of 10 frame Paul Blake as Greedo. Nice. That's what he says. That's I speak his language. There it is. Nice. And that's it, folks. Nice break. That was break number seven, one box random pack break of Star Wars Masterwork. We got one more box, last box of this particular case being opened up next. Stick around. Jaspi